Hey guys, welcome to the third part of the YouTube Data API tutorial. In this part, I will show you how we extract video statistics for each video of a given channel. So in the last two parts, we already learned how we extract channel statistics and get all video IDs. And now we continue where we left off and extract the interesting statistics for each video. So last time we implemented part one of this method here, so get channel video data. And in part one, we extracted all the video IDs. And then here I printed this. So this is a dictionary and we can see it here. So here we have a dictionary and as a key, we have all the video IDs. And then as a value right now, we have an empty dictionary again. And here we want to fill in the video statistics. So this is what we do now. So here part two, get video statistics. So I can uh, remove this to do here. And now let's do this. So for this, we need um, to iterate over this dictionary. So let's do this. So let's say for video ID in channel videos. And now we need another API um, request. So here we need another URL and I have it for you here. So let me open up this URL. So here I hard coded it for one video ID and I put in the API key here. Um, so yeah, so here we can see, um, first of all, we are using the videos um, URL now of the Google uh, YouTube API. And then we are looking at the snippet part and here we have the video ID and then here we have the API key. So here we see that we have one result, so only for one video. And then here we have one, um, we have the items. So this is a list, but here it only has one, one item then. And then it has the snippet part that I wanted to look up. And here I have some information. For example, here I see the published ad date, then I see the title. So by the way, this is part one of the YouTube data API tutorials. Then we can see the description. We even have thumbnail links with, um, with links to the thumbnails in different sizes. And yeah, so this is one URL that we want to use. And this is the snippet part. And then I can tell you there's another part that is called statistics. So if I put in statistics here, then this will um, return another response. And here we can see the video statistics. So this is the interesting part. So here, for example, we can see the view count, the like count, the dislike count and the comment count of this video. And yeah, and then there is one more part that is called content details. So content details. And there are even more information that we want to extract. So for example, so here we have the content deal details and here, for example, we can see the duration. So yeah, so we want to send requests to all these three uh, different parts. So let's do this. So let me copy um, this URL here. So this is the same URL, but not hard coded with the API key and the video ID. And let's do this here. So now we want to do this for all the parts. So let's create this parts list here. And here we can write, we have the snippet part. Um, we have the statistics, statistics part, and we have the content details, content details part. And now we iterate over all the three parts. So we say for part in parts, and then um, we want to send the get request to this URL. And for this, I write another helper function. So Let's create a function and uh, let's call this define underscore. Let's call this get single video data and this gets self and then it gets the video ID and then it gets the part. 
and then we say our URL equals this string where we put in the video ID here and the API key and as a part we don't put in only snippet but here we put in um, the part that we give to this method. So this is the URL and so now here we can call this so we want to say here data equals self dot underscore get single video data and here we can give it the video ID and the current part and this should return um, a JSON data and that we can fill into our channel videos uh, dictionary then so this should hold the statistics and yeah so now let's implement this method so again we have to send the get request and for this we are using the requests module so we say json url equals requests dot get the url and since this is valid JSON data, we can convert it to a Python object by saying data equals JSON um, dot dump s, so from a string. And here we say JSON URL dot text. So this will give us the raw text of the site. And then we converted it to a Python object. So this is now a dictionary. And now we want to extract the part so let's have a look at the site again so all the sites have only one result and then they have this items key here so and then this will be a list with only one item so we only access the very first item here and then again this is another dictionary and here we want to extract this content details part and this is the same for each of this part sites so this might might be called content details or this might be called snippet or this might also be called uh, statistics so for example let's put in statistics here again statistics and hit enter So yeah, so now um, we see that this site has the same format, but the only thing that varies now is this statistics part. And this is the same name as we put in here in the part. So we can extract the same information for each page. So the items key and then the first item in this list and then this part. So let's do this and let's wrap this in a try except block so that our app won't crash if there are any errors. So we can say try and then we say data equals data and then we only want to have the items key and then the first item in this list and then the part that we have here. So this is the data that we want and now in our accept block so accept we say we print error so we have an error here and then we say our data equals an empty dictionary and then at the very end we simply return the data so this is the method for the get single video data and now up here we call this so here we get the data for each part and then we want to put it into our final channel videos object so this is the final object that i showed you in the beginning so here we can say channel videos and then with the key with the video id and this is what we want to update with this data. So now it will write the data into this um, key. And yeah, so now we are done. And now what we want to do is we want to store this in the video data um, variable that I created in the init. So this will uh, store all the statistics. So 
let's say self dot video data equals channel videos and we can also return the video data so return the channel videos and yeah so now we are done and now one more thing that I want to add is to add a progress bar for this because this might take a few seconds or even a minute so let's um, wrap this in a progress bar so for this we use a method uh, a module that is called TQDM and uh, by the way I have a whole tutorial about this so it's very easy to use the progress bar with this so we say from tqdm import tqdm and of course you have to install it by saying pip install tqdm and then the only thing we have to do is in our loop here for video id in and then we can wrap this into this tqdm object and then tqdm does all the rest for us so now this will have a progress bar so now we are done and now one more last thing so now in the dump method we also want to dump the video data so here we check if self channel statistics is none and if um, or if if um, self dot video data is none then we return so we print let's say data is none and now let's print the final object into one file so let's fuse these two things into one dictionary so let's say um, fused data fused data equals and now let's put this into another dictionary and here as a very first key we use the channel ID so here we can say self dot channel ID and then as a value we put in another dictionary so dictionary and this has two keys so the channel statistics and the video data so the first is the channel statistics that we extracted so here as a value we use self dot channel statistics and the second key in this uh, dictionary is called uh, video data and then here as a value we use self dot video not underscore self dot video data so this is our fused data and here as a to do I have to uh, get the channel name from this data so here I hard-coded it um, to saying Python engineer but now I want to get it from the um, dictionary and this is actually uh, contained in the channel statistics part or maybe in the video st statistics part I'm not sure right now but we can oh yeah it's in the video data so we can get this by saying um, self dot video data and then we want to pop a random item so we can say pop item and this will return a tuple where in the first um, item we have the key and in the second we have the value so we want to get the value so the actual video data and here in this part we can get the key channel statistics so uh, channel data sorry so here we can get channel title and if it doesn't find the channel title then as a fallback it should say self dot channel ID as a, a name for the final file so now we are done and let's save this and now let's go to our main file and here we created this um, object that we give the API key and the channel ID and now what we want to do is we want to call yt.getChannelStatistics and we want to call yt.getChannelVideoData and then we say yt.dump 
and let's um, run this so let's clear this and let's also open the browser or the Explorer so here we th this should dump the all the information into this file so this is from part one so now it only has the uh, the channel statistics and now this should hold more information so let's delete this again move to trash and let's run this python main.py and then it has an error so I got an error the first time and then I found out here in the get single video data method of course we must not call JSON dump as but instead we want to say load as because we want to load the data from the string and so yeah so this was the first error and then I noticed that in the dump method um, we also um, now want to dump not only the channel statistics but we want to dump the fused data so let's write this so dump the fused data and let's save this and let's run this again and hope that it's working this time so yeah we see that it has 55 videos so 55 steps and the progress bar is working and now it's downloading and this might take a few seconds so I still think I will skip this part and see you when it's done. So now it's almost done and now it's done. It printed file dumped and we see that this file appeared here. So here we have Python engineer got Jason and let's have a look at this file. And here, yeah, so in the very beginning we have the channel ID and then we have the channel statistics part. And then we have the video data where we should have the statistics for each of the videos. So yeah, it worked. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And then we are going to analyze this in the last part. So see you next time. Bye.